Just as he was the oldest test debutant, he is ironically also the first test cricketer to die. There's a, there's a morbid appropriateness about that. He was only, what, 51 when he passed? Yeah, 52 or something like that. So, I mean, he, he had that tour um, with Lily, Lily White to Australia and New Zealand in 1876-77. And he came back to England and resumed playing for, for Surrey. So he had another couple of seasons playing for Surrey. And then he had a, he had a benefit with Surrey. And then basically he did retire. And that retirement, I think, lasted less than a year. He was engaged to Surrey as a net bowler. And it seems that he caught a chill, went home to Mitcham. And this developed and he died quite quickly, 1880 of pleurisy. Yeah, was was greatly mourned by Mitcham people in particular. There was a long trail, a long procession of Mitcham local people followed his uh, the coffin to the parish church in Mitcham. And a great many cricketers from Surrey and elsewhere attended the funeral as well. It seemed to have happened pretty quick, but I think things like that did did in those days.